I just love the healing and spiritual properties of teas. And although tea is enjoyed by millions of people around the world, many of us don't know much about it. Hello, I'm Moon. Today, I'll be joined by Maria Spensky, a passionate tea expert, who will talk about tea's healing benefits for your mind, body, and soul. Maria, why does tea have such benefit, not just for our body, but also for our mind and soul? Because I'm really obsessed about our spirit. Yes, well, that's clearly a big part of tea's history. We right. often hear and talk about the spirit of tea. And people turn to tea for both physical reasons and for psychological reasons. And yeah. the spiritual side of it actually has a lot of chemical backing to it as well. So we'll discuss both the physical and the psychological benefits that tea okay. brings to us and to our soul. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the physical benefits, just as a basis. Absolutely, yeah. So people turn to tea when they don't feel well, when they're right. sick, right. or even for daily wellness and well-being. Right. People turn to tea also when they want help losing weight yes. because it helps us burn more calories. Tea helps us burn more calories. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so is there a phys what is the physiology behind that? So it's not just for a single reason. Yeah. Um, caffeine yes. boosts our metabolism for one, yeah. but also the polyphenol antioxidants in tea mm -hmm. help boost metabolism in a way that aids us in burning calories. So we'll talk more about that when we get to green teas and oolong teas. Yes. So now that we talked a little bit about the physiological benefits of tea, how does that translate into the mind, body, and spirit? So we'll start with the mind. Yes. Uh, there are actually four molecules in tea that cross the blood-brain barrier. Of course, wow. the first and most well-known of which is plain old caffeine. Right. <laughs> then there are theobromine and theophylline. Theobromine, we a lot of us know as the active ingredient in cacao, which we need oh, yeah. to keep our dogs away right. from. Um, and which tea is that in? It's actually in all teas. Oh, it's all teas. It's in okay. basic, all four are in all teas. Okay. And lastly, the one that contributes largely to that feel good aspect of tea yes. is called L theanine. It's oh, an wow. amino acid. And it is known for being an ingredient that activates and that also um, calms us without sedation. Okay, it's just a natural, joyful, calming high. Exactly. Yeah. So that L-theanine in combination with caffeine yes. is what makes tea so ideal for focusing and feeling calm. So it both helps you to focus while bringing you down, right. which is what makes it an ideal beverage for monks who are going on retreats Absolutely. for a long period and want to stay just at a focused level of consciousness right. without being jittery. Right. Absolutely. Because it's uh, the, it's perfect for the meditation exactly. practice. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And so is there a tea that might be a little better for meditation over other tea? Yes. Yeah. Generally, people turn to the less caffeinated yes. teas, white and green, green. teas. Right. All teas come from the same plant. Yes. So to, in order to be tea, and we're talking about tea versus herbals. So if, if you're looking at green or white teas, oolong teas, black teas, or pu'er teas, they all come from the same plant. I see. And that's actually a relative of the camellia. It's called the okay. camellia sinensis plant. Okay. And what makes them different? So what makes them different is entirely in the processing. Right. Wow. And much like we have different types of wines from different regions yes. in Europe and around the world now, or cheeses in certain areas, yes. so has tea with its very long history developed many different processes and yes. types of tea that take this singular plant into so many different directions. Wow, that is really enlightening. I really thought that they were d different leaves. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Now there are, so there are two um, subspecies of Camellia sinensis. Yes. There's Camellia sinensis sinensis, 
which are the smaller kind of tea shrubs that we see. That's the one that's most prevalent in the world okay. and indigenous to China. Indeed. Okay. Camellia sinensis sasamica uh -huh. is indigenous just on the other side of the Himalayas in India okay. and also in southwestern China in Yunnan and northern Vietnam. Okay. So Camellia sinensis sasamica is a larger plant, okay. has larger leaves, and makes bigger kind of rougher teas. And okay. that's what some very strong black and pu'er teas are made from. I see. We do also have green teas that are made from those leaves. Yes. But it is definitely a stronger flavor, even okay. amongst green teas. The okay. Camellia sinensis sasamica yields the strongest. Okay, so then I want to talk a little bit more about teas for people who are trying to lose weight. Mm. You know, and why that's so effective. Because I've gotten a lot of questions from one of my videos about, is this good for losing weight? Absolutely, that's a very yeah. big concern yeah. that a lot of people have yeah. when they come to tea, or interest, yes. I should say. Um, and indeed, there are studies that back up yes. um, the legitimacy to that claim that tea helps us lose weight. Okay. So, in general, if you drink two cups of green tea daily, you'll be burning an extra 100 calories a day, which over the course of the year could amount to 10 pounds taken off. Whoa. So yeah, that's a non-trivial kind of fat burning mechanism. Wow. And then just with respect to tea and exercise, it's yeah. also helpful if you drink a green tea in particular, that's the mm -hmm. one that's the highest in right. the polyphenol antioxidants okay. that help with weight okay. burn. If you consume green tea 30 minutes before you exercise, you will burn up to 30% more calories wow. during your exercise session, and you will be able to go longer. So endurance athletes are yeah. also turning to teas, right. and in particular green teas, yeah. which have some caffeine, yes. and again that L-theanine, yeah. which helps them focus and stay yeah. calm during an athletic event, but it does boost their long-term endurance also by approximately 30%. So now I wanna talk about loose tea leaves versus bag teas. Mm -hmm. What is the difference? It's a very good question because a lot of people don't think about it. Right. Um, to get the real benefit from tea, it's helpful to have whole leaf tea. Okay. When you're preparing vegetables in your kitchen, do you want the little pieces that have fallen off your lettuce or your spinach? Or do you want the juice of the whole leaf in your right. food? So similarly with tea, if you go to tea auction in India, mm -hmm. They have tea graded in seven different grades. Wow. And the bottom two grades are called dust and fannings. Wow. And that is essentially what you find in most tea bags. Right. These days, there are some premium tea bags that are three dimensional, pyramids, um, global kind of shaped sachets, yes. some of which can hold whole leaf tea. Okay. But I think it's very important if you're serious about drinking tea, cut open that tea bag, yes. take a look at what's in there. And of course, if you brew your loose tea on your own, it's more cost effective, you right. see what you're getting and you can adjust the portion to whatever you'd like yes. to do. So an even more important question yes. perhaps than loose versus bagged these days, is bottled tea right. versus tea that you make yourself. Yes. Many people think that they're getting the health benefits of tea by just picking up a bottle of tea in the grocery store or the gas station right. if they're in a rush. Many of those tea products uh, that are bottled and canned have a tremendous amount of sugar in right. them, which is something that is probably not right. good to uh, indulge in if you're yeah. pursuing wellness. I agree. So I would suggest then just to really read the label if you really, really want to get that bottle of tea, read the label and try to get one Absolutely. that has no sugar because you're right. And yeah. there are some excellent yeah. bottled products yes. on the market, but it's definitely uh, buyer beware. Yeah. yeah. Preferably loose leaf, then the bag, then bottled with no sugar. <laughs> I've learned so much today. I cannot tell you how much I've learned. Okay, so I know you prepared this beautiful green tea. I've been eyeing it to drink it. <laughs> I did, I wanted so, to toast our yes. session together. So here and, to your health. Mom. And this is a, a green tea? This is a green tea from Wonderful. China. Yes, Wonderful. it's Maojian Jade Tips. Ooh, Maojian so, Jade Tips. To your tips. health. To your health.
Wow. Now you know so much more about tea's healing benefits for your mind, body, and soul. I know I learned a lot today. So drink more tea in your daily life. In our next show, we'll talk about green and white teas, so look out for that. Maria has a wonderful selection of teas, so please visit her website at theteaspot.com to get it online. Now, if you like this video and learned a lot about teas today, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining us. For all of my Asian and holistic living tips, please visit my website at yinnyangliving.com. Sip happy.